Applications of the Moivre's theorem, example 2. We're asked to express cos 2 theta in terms of cos theta. Let us consider first the expansion of cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 2. We could expand this by multiplying it by itself. We know that when we multiply a binomial by itself, what we get is we square the first term, that becomes cos squared theta, multiply the two terms and double it, that's 2i cos theta sine theta, and square the second term, i squared sine squared theta. Remember, i squared is negative 1, so that becomes negative sine squared theta. We could also apply the Moiré's theorem to this expansion. The Moiré's theorem says when you multiply a number to the power of n, its argument is multiplied by n. In other words, cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 2 is cos 2 theta plus i sine 2 theta. We want an expression for cos 2 theta. We have a cos 2 theta in a de Moiré's expansion. We see that cos 2 theta must be equal to the real parts in the first expansion because the real parts must equal the real parts. In a complex equation. So therefore cos 2 theta must be equal to cos squared theta minus sine squared theta. In this question we're asked to express cos 2 theta in terms of cos theta. So far we have it expressed in terms of cos theta and sine theta. We want to replace the sine squared theta term. We know that sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cos squared theta. So we could replace the sine squared theta with this expression. And simplifying this, we see we have 2 cos squared theta minus 1. And that's our solution. In part b, we're asked to find an expression for sine 3 theta in terms of sine theta. This time, let us consider the expansion of cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power of 3. We could expand this by multiplying it by itself three times, or we could use the binomial expansion. I'm going to do that here. So what we have is cos theta plus i sine theta to the power of 3. This becomes 3c3 cos theta to the power of 3 plus 3c2 cos theta to the power of 2 and i sine theta to the power of 1 plus 3c1 cos theta to the power of 1 and i sine theta to the power of 2 and lastly 3c0 i sine theta to the power of so we neaten this up, 3c3 is 1, 3c2 is 3, 3c1 is 3, this time we get an i squared, now remember i squared is negative 1, so we change that, 3c0 is 1, this time we get an i cubed, now an i cubed is the same as negative i, so we put that in this time. We could also use Moyer's theorem to do a similar expansion. The Moyer's theorem says that if you raise a number to a power, then you multiply the argument by that power. That will tell us that cos theta plus i sine theta all to the power of 3 must be equal to cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. We're looking for an expression here for sine 3 theta. And we see that we have a sine 3 theta in this last of Moiré's expansion. It's one of the imaginary terms. Imaginary terms must equal imaginary terms in a complex equation. Therefore, i sine 3 theta must be equal to the imaginary terms in the binomial expansion. Therefore, sine 3 theta must be equal to 3 cos squared theta sine theta 
minus sine cube theta. There's no need to include the i's in this equation. We want our expression in terms of sine theta, and we have a cos squared theta here that we don't want. But we know that cos squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. So we'll replace our cos squared theta with this expression. Now when we expand the first part of this, we're multiplying 3 sine theta by 1 and 3 sine theta by negative sine squared theta. And lastly, we simplify by, because we have two like terms here, the sine cube theta terms. So the final answer is that sine 3 theta is equal to 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cubed theta.